So when it comes to Fortnite, players are always boxing up and turtling more often than not. In competitive play, it's almost always going to happen. Running into this issue can be tiresome, annoying, and sometimes even makes us just want to give up or even scream. But you don't have to. Today, we're going to be going over many techniques and tactics you can use when matched up against these pesky players. Hey guys, once again, it's your boy Keith Allen, and make sure you connect with me on my Instagram. We got a lot going on. If you want to go in more in depth, visit ProGuys.com, which has all the in-depth latest moves from the pros themselves. And step-by-step, -step, guys, on how to practice and do them. So, most players assume right off the bat that a player who's turtling is a noob, and that's not exactly a fair assumption, guys. Unless you're in a low point in arena games or public matches where noobs run rampant, 9 out of 10 times player can use to kill you. He knows how to get an edit shot off of you. He knows how to time his shots while you're spraying. He knows by standing on his box, he can edit you in for a trap play. If you stand unprotected outside his wall, he can edit out and trap and kill you as well. There are so many plays somebody can just make within his box, which can turn the fight in his favor. This means, guys, we're going to have to be very cautious when approaching turtling players. It's one thing fighting against a casual in public matches, but it's entirely different in a high-end customs game. So, the first step you're going to want to learn is to get on top of the turtle. It's very well known amongst many video games that high ground gives the absolute advantage, but why? Because when somebody is above, hey, it's much easier to shoot at your head. If you decide to play a turtle fight from low grounds, the enemy could easily double edit out and steal the high ground. You definitely don't want that to happen. So, when the enemy takes the high ground, it's almost guaranteed he's going to control the fight from then on. The safest way to control a turtle fight is to play it from above. Other advantages of being on the high ground include your ability to counter his every move, or to just disengage the fight easily if you need to. So, playing the fight from above the turtle is the best way to go about it. In many instances, you know, the low ground does win, but this is most likely due to the low ground enemy being a better player. So guys, you always want the most advantageous situation, and that's where high ground comes into play. Another technique you can use if you have the available much of Fortnite is about countering your opponent. The more control you have, the easier it gets. That's why this tactic is so viable. But that's not the only way you can use this technique. This same technique works in full-fledged build fights as well. You can pre-place cones and floors and edit down on them. Here's a great example. So as you know, Clix runs wagers on a daily basis and is probably the most decorated creative player. This method is crazy good for countering many enemies off guard and preventing them from taking height. So guys, go practice. The more you master it, hey, the better you get. So if you want to be able to defeat many enemies, you're going to have to get creative, guys. Pro players know all the techniques and strategies, so a lot of those fights come down to on-the-spot creativity. Instead of going for the usual wall replace, try to get a wall to replace from above. But just don't endlessly smash at the cone while he's turbo building. Mix it up a bit, you know what I mean? Smart bashing multiple sides to confuse the enemy, throwing him off guard. Trust me, guys, I've done it before, and it's definitely worked. One mistake many people make is thinking their low ping will buy them a free ticket. This mistake couldn't get worse. Fortnite's wall replace algorithm is tricky and sometimes, hey, you may either take or lose a wall. There are several exploits and methods available out there, but any pro player will tell you that there aren't foolproof. Now, if you have around 40 ping, always assume your enemy has a lower ping than you. It happens more often than not that players will just endlessly smash at one wall, insistent to take it. This isn't a very helpful technique, and most good players will just edit out and counter you. Even players with zero ping sometimes are unable to take opponent's walls, so it doesn't help to do it. So, don't get too cocky, guys. Sit down, be humble, play around your strengths.
Now, oftentimes, hey, we get too caught tunnel visioning that we make a fatal mistake. We become predictable. Hey, I'm sure you've been in a situation where an enemy is on low health and you just can't seem to break his turtle. If you watch your favorite pros like Tifu and Mongrel, you will most always, always see them toying with their turtling opponents. They use a variety of edit plays to confuse them before ending them. So, take advice from the pros, guys. You don't want to be that guy that gets outplayed. You want to be that guy outplaying everyone else. You know, most of the time, casual edits are very easy to predict. Editing a straight wall edit or a four square edit will get you killed and you'll end up taking heavy damage. So, next time guys, if you want to go for an edit play, make sure to edit a right hand peek or use the scroll wheel edit reset trick to block incoming damage. We talked about in previous videos of the advantages of right hand peeks. It gives a tremendous first shot advantage and you need to be the one to do it. You can also edit the top three squares from the wall and duck to the side. The moment the enemy goes for a shot, you can just jump out and nail him. Most of your edit plays should revolve around tricking your opponent and getting the right hand peek shot. Hey, often it happens where we just get too blindsided by killing our enemy that we become an easy target. You've got a dude to one HP and now you're bloodthirsty for that extra elimination point. I know. The problem is guys, is that now you usually throw all Fortnite fundamentals out the window and become a very easy target for a counterattack. If your versus an average guy, okay, it'll be easy to kill him without Fortnite 101. The issue is what happens if it's an actually good player like an arena or in a tournament match? Shot off of us. The optimal way to protect yourself, guys, when pressuring is to place a cone underneath you. You can also place a ramp behind you as well. This prevents the enemy from editing out and doing an edit play. Just always be ready. So regardless if you're a casual or a competitive player, everybody loves learning something new, right? Fortnite's unique sandbox battle royale allows for many, many new techniques to be discovered and created all the time. Phasing through turtles are no different. There are countless techniques out there, including on Fortnite's competitive subreddit that allows you to learn new ways to enter people's box. Some of the most common tricks are the ramp phase trick. You begin by placing a ramp behind you and you leave the enemy's wall one hit. So as you jump, you dive forward and it'll protect you into his box. Be careful though, because you could get trap killed. Another prominent technique is used with the flintlock pistol. Works the same way, except instead of pickaxing, hey, you flintlock downwards into the box. As you can see, guys, there are many ways of fighting against turtley players, and these are the key things to remember. Getting on top of the turtle is crucial. Placing cones around the turtles helps tons as well. Always assume that the enemy has better ping. Play mind games with the turtle. Have a backup plan. Learn all the new tips and tricks. Hey guys, once again, this is Keith Allen. I hope you enjoyed the video. And also guys, connect with me on my Instagram if you haven't already. Would love to hear from you. We got a lot going on. And stay tuned for more exciting videos coming out.